Hey guys and welcome back to another mobile game review brought to you by the Mobile Mob. My name is Mr. Hyde and today's game is Venture Kid. The game has been developed and published by FDG Entertainment who lately also released the game Lone Wolf which has been the game of the week in the Touch Arcade forum. So you know those guys and let me tell you I'm very excited to show you this game because it's pretty cool. Well guys let's take a look into the settings. You can switch between languages and there are a lot of languages so everybody will understand this game. I will stick with English. There's stats, intro credits, pretty old school everything. I mean this is definitely retro 8-bit action jump and run and amazing chip tunes. Listen to this guys. Well, let's continue. You can already see that I played a little bit, but I want to go through the level for you once more. You can see the controls, guys. On B, you shoot. A is jumping. And, well, the cursor I don't have to explain to you, right? Yes, here we go. Let's see. Let's go through this level. As far as I get this right, there are nine levels. And of course nine final bosses so I'm looking forward to show you a lot more I will definitely make walkthroughs through the whole game ah finally an enemy here we got him this game is only available for the App Store guys it has game center connection so you can compete with your friends family and folks for the best stats Whoa, what is this? An archer? He hit me. Kind of looked like Link. Of course, this game will be celebrated by the older generations, the 80s and 90s, because this is pretty much Super Mario and just is a lot of fun. I have to take care. I just go too fast through the level. Always lose something here. Okay. Where does he show up? There. Nice, nice. Furthermore, there are eight different power-ups. I haven't seen one power-up so far. Um, but we will probably find it out, guys. I'm pretty sure so. Here we go. Spiders. Spiders always in the dungeons. It's like the classic enemy down there in the pit. Here we go. There are a lot of different secret sections guys so um we have to take care a little bit that we might see them oh this looks like a item um oops resume oh if you um tap on weapon you can change between the orbs that you can shoot or a boomerang which is pretty nice and what is this actually this looks hey man I found a secret section here. Let's see. Now just don't fall. No! But damn, I found a secret section. Pretty nice. Let's go through that once again. I guess every level has a secret section. Oh, come on, dude. Will we be able to do this? Let's see. And let's see what we're gonna find. I hope some special items or something. What is this? That's a big orb, that's for sure. I don't, but I don't know what this was. Did I get money? Probably. Well, that's the first secret section in the forest. And I'm pretty happy that I found this covering this review. Well, guys, let's progress here. And I guess this thing will freeze all the enemies. And we will wait for the dirty ones to come up or show up. Because this is going to be useful, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. Okay. Nice, we're back and on full throttle. Here we go. 
No, but I always make it to lose a heart just for not being able to wait a little bit. Here we go, guys. There's an archer coming again. Oh, I don't like the archers. You have to kill them pretty quick because dodging the arrows is uh, one hell of a job. Here we go. Alright. Ah, oh, got the stingy bees. Come on. Yeah, nice. Pump me up again. And there's the first big boss. But we... Huh? Just because I killed him, we cannot... Okay. Well, got this then. Well, guys, let's take a look into the shop because... We got a lot of items. You have seen the different characters of this game in the intro, which is pretty cool, actually. Here you can see a weapon bottle. Extra life. Weapon manager. HP extensions. Emergency kit. Red skin. Oh, we can change the look of the controllers also. Which cost us orbs, nonetheless. Well, guys, this is a paid game, by the way. But a pretty... Um, a cheap paid game for 99 cents to be honest thank you very much FDG entertainment but if you look at uh, take a look into the orb shop you realize that there are some uh, inner purchases to make also which um, explains why the game is so cheap here see the different bundles and what is this that's an orb doubler a permanent orb doubler doubles all orbs you find costs 5.99 but it's probably um, the thing of my choice or the item of my choice we will see guys well now you have seen the shop you have heard of oh there's one important thing that I want to mention this game supports MFI controller so all the hardcore gamers will pretty will enjoy this game that's for sure well guys Hope you like this game. If you want to download it, check the links in the video description. It's only available for the App Store. It has Game Center connection, a lot of features. Check this game out. I can really recommend it to you. Thank you very much for watching. Drop that bomb on that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys later.